What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Joel from The Last of Us. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. We start from the very top, just work our way down towards the bottom of our circle, and then back up towards the top. Now you want to leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So we'll start by lining up the top of that circle, come all the way down towards the same height, and then back up towards the top. Now from here we're going to draw a small highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. So let's start on the left. I'm just going to bring that circle coming in and then back out. And then we'll line that up on the right side. And then we'll fill the bottom of the eyes in black going around that highlight circle. Now we're going to move up to the top and draw on the eyebrows. Let's start on the inside of the left eye, bend this up over the eye, and then out. Let's go over towards the right and do the same thing. And bend the eyebrow going out and then down towards the side. Let's go back to the inside and curl up the brow. We're going to come in and then bend that up. Let's go back to the outside of the eyebrow and taper this so it gets thicker as it come back in. I'm just going to go up toward the top point, pull this in, and then down towards the inside of the brow. Let's fill the eyebrows in black. Now I'm going to move to the center and draw on the bottom of the nose. Let's start over on the left, curl the nose coming down, and then up. Let's move up and draw a short curve going up and then down across the bridge of the nose. Now I want to add a fold along the inside of the eyes. Starting on the left, bend this down and out with a short line. Let's add a couple wrinkles on the outside of the eye. Go up and out with a short line. Step down, go straight across. From the tip of the nose, let's step down and draw in the mouth. We start over on the left, then this up in the middle, and then down. Now in the center, we step down and add a curve, going down and up across the bottom lip. Let's go to the corners of the mouth. We're going to curve the beard, coming down. Just tuck that up underneath the lip on the left and right side. And now we want to move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside of the left eye, let's step out. Curl the head coming down, pull that in just underneath the mouth, go across and then up towards the right side. Now let's draw the top edge of the mustache and beard. We're going to start from the left side of the nose, bend this out and then down towards the side. Now I'm going to add a little bit of texture across the edge of the beard. Let's start on the left, going out and then up. Let's add a point, coming down and in, and go out and up towards the side of the head. Let's go back to the left side and work our way across the hairline. Starting up here, go up and then in. Let's add a point, coming down and in towards the eyebrow, and then pull that back up. Now you want to sweep the hair over towards the right, come down cross, go back up, let's add another one, coming down and across, and pull that up. Let's bend the hair, going out and then down towards the side, back up, I'm just going to curl this out and down towards the right side of the head. 
Now we want to add the part on the left side. So we step up towards the top. Let's start with a point. Now we're going to draw in the left side. Point out and then down. Now we'll add a point on the end. Let's work our way down along the side. Out and then down. Pull that up. I'm just going to bend that in towards the side of the head. Let's go back up to the top and sweep the hair over towards the right. Start by adding a point. Go all the way across the top of the head, and then out, and then we'll add that point. Let's continue going all the way across towards the right, and then down, another point, and just working our way across, and then in towards the side of the head. Now we want to tuck the ears in behind the hair. Let's start on the left side, bend the ear going up, come down, and then in. Let's add a fold across the top of the ear. Go back to the inside and add a hook, going out, and then in. Now I'm going to add a little bit more hair along the back side of the head. Starting underneath the ear, come down and in. Short line going up, and just tuck that up in behind the head. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on the body. We're going to start with the collar, starting right in the middle. Start with a point, angle up toward the left and right side. From the outside, draw two straight angle lines coming down across the bottom of the collar, and those up. From the top of the collar, we're going to curve the body going out and then down towards the hips. Let's go to that center point, draw a straight line coming all the way down the middle, just lining up with the outside of the hips. And we'll separate this going out toward the left and right. Connect the hip to that inside with a straight line. Let's add two pockets on either side. Start with a straight line going across. Come down the sides with a short line. And then we'll pull that down and in towards the center point on both sides. Now we're gonna add in some buttons. Starting along the bottom of the flap with a small circle. And then we'll add a row of buttons on the right side of that center line. Starting from the top, add one on the bottom and go right in between. Now let's go up to the side and draw in the shoulder straps. From the top of the body, we're going to step out, curve the strap going out, down, and then in towards the side of the body. Let's add a clip along the top with two lines. Now we're going to move to the center, step down and add a curve, going up and then down. Let's leave a gap in the center, Go to the left side, bend the leg, go out, and then down towards the left heel. Go to the right, go out, and down towards the right heel. Now I'm going to round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the left heel, bend the foot coming down, and then up towards the outside. From the outside, let's draw the top of the foot, almost like a half circle going up. I'm just going to bend this down, aim it towards the heel, and curl that back up towards the inside. Now we're going to go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Let's start from the left hip, bend this out, and then down on top of the feet. Now along the bottom of the feet, we're going to add a thick sole. So we want to take this curve, step up, and trace that across. Now I'm going to go back up to the top and draw on the arms. Let's start halfway down the side of the strap, bend the arm going out, and then down towards the wrist. Line that up on the right side. And then from the wrist, we're going to draw a small half circle for the thumb. Close off the end with a small bracket. Now we're going to add three fingers on either side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb, come down, just bend that up around the bracket. Move out to the side, pull out and then up. And then the third finger, we're going to go out, bend the arm, go up 
and then in underneath the head. Now we're going to roll up the sleeve. Let's start from the top of the arm on the inside, then it's up and then out. And I'm going to step down and draw that same curve. I'm going to add a wristwatch on the right arm. Starting on the outside, start with a large circle. And we'll draw the bottom of the strap, starting from the top of the thumb, then it's up and out in behind that circle. Continue on the outside. Step up, draw that same curve. And then we'll end off by sounding our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Joel from The Last of Us. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You're also going to want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.